Today we're taking a look at this compact delight tripod from Manfrotto. You can pick these up very cheap online. I have one similar to it, but it's a little bit bigger. I wanted something even smaller, so I picked this other one up for situations like this. Nice and compact, three legs per section, and you've got a rotational thing here. You can take this off and flip it around if you want. Got a ball connection full rotation on there and just a simple screw on the top you can go vertical or horizontal nice thing about these tripods is that they're quick to open you just pull all three and they're popped and you just have to lock each one down maybe there are faster ways to do it but in this case pretty quick I tape this rubber thing down there so instead they put a little pin which is nice spring-loaded so you can see here it doesn't get to the same height as the other one the bottom legs don't go as wide which isn't ideal but still it is much more compact when it's compacted up and I've never been fond of this thing as I mentioned so whatever to that this one's simple hopefully it'll last just as long if not longer it's not much to it the one drawback of these is that these head portions do not come off as far as I can tell so you won't be able to replace them that's a is a big drawback but for the price it's not a big concern of mine at least one thing to take note of with these legs I had to tighten them up they have standard hex connections on both sides so you need two and then you just tighten them together if you don't tighten these up this is what happens kind of flops around not ideal but if you do tighten them enough, it's pretty cold out, so what's happening is that when I tighten these inside, they loosen up much quicker compared to if I were to tighten them, say, out here or somewhere, that'll give them a much tighter tight. We've got our tripod, pop out the camera, M5 with the standard adapter, big as I've got, and try a few photos around here. Often what I do is I hold it by the center section, leave the legs open. In this case, it's a little easier than this tripod. Still shaking a little bit. In situations where it's gonna shake quite a bit, two second timer might not be enough, so you can use a 10 second timer or whatever your camera has. You can also use a wired cable release. In this case, I can combine the wired cable release with the two second timer. Just adds a little buffer of shake reduction. I know a lot of people say tripods will last you a long time and it's a good investment and this and that, which is true. But sometimes if you buy cheaper ones that are good enough, you're less likely to baby them you're less likely to care if you damage it and stuff like this i'm doing things quick i need need it to work i need it to work fast i need it to be small now i could spend 500 dollars or something on a super compact carbon fiber travel tripod or i can buy one for 40 or 50 dollars and it'll last maybe just as long or maybe i'll have to buy two or three of them you know there's always a possibility of it just lasting a good long time just like the super expensive ones so i'm not against expensive tripods i'm just saying there are options that are good enough and you're not going to baby it see it's holding it okay this was loosening a little bit so i had to tighten that but it's okay so far let's do a little video thing here so 100 millimeters tapping on there 300 so when I let go it's moving a little bit not too bad besides a standard camera you can put a cell phone with the proper adapter which I do have with me see no issues with the, anything small like this definitely a good use case for this tripod but works just fine with cameras too do b-roll stuff with something like that super compact but still very stable for whatever load you're going to put on it especially a smartphone so far i'm liking this without the quick release just simplifies things rubber feet i usually cover them so far so good with this tripod 
definitely pretty compact a little bit smaller than this one i'm using right now that i've been using for years with a, a few other ones but this one has been my main kind of video outdoors type of thing tripod as long as the height doesn't turn into an issue i don't see this being any worse in any respect because it is more compact it's quicker to set up i don't have to mess with the quick release thing just not many negatives here so that was that manfrotto compact light tripod this other one i don't think is even sold anymore with that grip handle thing see how it works out maybe in the future i'll talk about it more but so far so good hope you enjoyed the video scott photography bonsai if you did enjoy the video please consider subscribing helps me out a lot likes and shares i bought a lot as well thanks again